Hello everyone, here is the storyline for the latest episode that aired last night. In this episode, the Jung invites Sharon to open a gift from Jehon because she believes that Sharon will be very upset. When Sharon sees the gift is from Jehun, she can't believe it and decides to prove that Jehun isn't interested in the Jung at all. The next day during her meeting with Jehun, Sharon vows to make the Jung return to where she belongs. The Jung asks Sharon to do whatever she wants because it won't change Jehun's feelings for her. The Jung is also initially angry at Sharon for ruining her marriage but quickly shifts her focus to Jehun. Now, the Jung wants Sharon to experience what it's like to lose the man she likes. That night, the Jung contacts Jehun because she cannot accept the gift from him. Even though Jehun refuses to take the gift back, he has no other choice because the Jung goes directly to Dream Food to return it to him. Jehun feels sad when he sees that the note he gave to the Jung is crumpled. He imagines how much the Jung must hate him to crumple the note. Feeling down, Jehun starts eating miserably. The Jung's instinct as a mother kicked in, and she wipes Jihoon's face, which is covered in food. What Da Jung does reminds Jihoon of his own mother, and according to Da Jung, that's what a mother's love is like. Jihoon learns that Da Jung is married, but he doesn't give up on her. He even gives Da Jung a hairpin and hugs her to give it to her daughter. Da Jung allows Jihoon to put the hairpin on her, and Saran watches them from a distance, feeling shaken. In the evening, Jihoon goes to Bo Bejong to fulfill Bo Bae's invitation. After dinner, Saran wants to confirm whether Jihoon really likes the Jong or not. She tells Jihoon that the Jong felt humiliated by the gift he gave her. Jihoon feels bad because he never looked down on the Jong. He genuinely likes her and is serious about her. Saran's anger intensifies when Jihoon reveals that he already knew about the Jong's marriage and other but still like her. However, she tries to hold in in front of Jehun, who asks her for help to get closer to the job. In this episode, Song Yi suffers from anemia and it's possible that she needs a blood transfusion. The problem arises when the doctor says that Song Yi's blood type is AB. As far as the Jung knows, Song Yi's blood type was B when she was born, and it's impossible for her to have blood type AB since both the Jung and Sang Jol have blood type B. When the Jung tells Sang Chol about this, he also becomes confused and decides to recheck his blood type. Additionally, Han Mari suspects that someone might have swept Song Yi with another baby when she was in the hospital's baby room. I believe the truth about Song Yi's identity will be revealed when Song Yi, Sang Chol, and the Jung undergo genetic test. The genetic test result will likely show that Song Yi is Sang Chol's biological daughter, but not the Jung's biological daughter. At the end of this episode, the Jung receives a video of Doxu's accident from a courier. She is shocked when she watches the video because her hands was correct. Saran and Sang Chol were involved in her father's death. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.